there. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam, OPCATLA, ATLSAT, and all of those things. This is part of our Math Monday series. Every Mondays, I post one new video lesson on math to try to help you out when it comes to your exam. Today, we're going to talk about an algebra topic, word problem topic siya actually, uh, about numbers or digits. And uh, this is something na kadalasan lumalabas sa exam and I really wanted to explain this to you. We're going to use two options. You can either use yung algebra, yung traditional method, or yung table technique, which I also explained in another video ng sa H problems natin. If you haven't seen that video yet, ililink ko na lang dito sa taas so you can catch up. That's the same concept. I-apply natin dito sa ganitong klaseng tanong. Okay? So, if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming review lessons kasi marami pa nito, uh, whether you're taking an aptitude test or kung nag-aaral pa lang kayo sa school, this can actually be helpful for you. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi nyo ma-miss yung susunod na lesson. Alright? So, in order for me to explain better itong lesson na to, I'll switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Ito yung lecture natin for word problems, number problems. We'll use the table technique. So, if hindi pa kayo familiar with that, Go ahead and watch my video muna on age problems and how to use the table technique. Um, basically, same yung concept, no? And if you notice na medyo off yung bosses ko, uh, it's because I've been sick for the past week and um, a few more days, no? And uh, hindi dapat talaga ako gawa ng video ngayon. Pero hinahabol ko to for the kids who are taking the upcat this Saturday at saka sa mga magtitake ng COMEX at saka civil service in the next few weeks. So, uh, I hope that you bear with me. Uh, please be gentle sa comments na lang. Okay. Um, number problems, ibig sabihin, these are uh, word problems, no? Yung mga algebra problems that we use to solve using an equation. And the goal today is to help you kind of guess or use the table technique para sa actual exam, you wouldn't need to create the equation. No, I'm not saying that you don't need to learn how to create the equation. What I'm saying is that if hindi nyo talaga siya makuha using that way, this could be a good second option for you. Kasi sa actual exam naman, hindi naman isi-check ang inyong solution. So, it doesn't matter whether you got the correct equation or not. What matters more is that you get the right answer. Okay, so yun yung goal natin. Now, ano yung klase ng tanong that I'm talking about today? It's this, No. Sabe, 3 more than twice the smaller number is equal to the bigger number. If the sum of the two numbers is 33, what is the smaller number? Now, again, if you don't have options sa uh, equation na ito, you would have to solve it long cut. Pero dahil meron ka namang options sa civil service exam or sa college entrance exam or kung ano man yung aptitude test that you're going to take, usually meron talagang options yan, you wouldn't need to create the formula from scratch. Now, ang first thing that you have to do is to create the table. And in this case, because you have two numbers, so again, you have the smaller number and the bigger number, so two numbers dyan. You have two uh, rows, no? So your table would look something like this. You have the smaller number and the bigger number, and then you have these blanks. Dyan mo sila ilalagay ngayon. Now again, if you are using the equation, I'll just show you how to do it using yung traditional method, no? Ang traditional method niyan is that if the sum of the two numbers is 33, ibig sabihin, one of them will be x, one will be 33 minus x. So, the smaller number would be x kasi siya yung nawawala. Ito, what is the smaller number? So, doon siya mapupunta yung x. And then, this will be 33 minus x. And then, your equation will be driven from this sentence right here. Kasi sabi, 3 more than twice the smaller number. So, ibig sabihin, yung smaller number, 3 more than twice daw nun. So, 3... More than is plus, so 3 plus 2x is, so equal to the bigger number which is 33 minus x. So this is how you would solve it if you're using the traditional method. Okay, now again, if you want to solve it down like that, okay lang din. But I want to show you yung uh, method ko, which is if what if you don't use the formula? What if you don't use algebra? So I'll just put this here on the side so we can check it later. I'll show you what to do using the table technique. Ang table technique is that after you draw the table, all you need to do is to pick and choose. So, magsasubstitute ka ng isa sa mga numbers dito. And then, check if gumagana siya. Okay? So, for example, um, I tell my students all the time, if you pick a number, pick, some, pick, pick a number that is somewhere in the middle of the range of numbers. So, 10, 12, 14... Don't choose 10 or 18. Sa first guess mo, you can, you can choose 12, ganon. 
And then what you're going to do is substitute it here. Okay? So, kaya nilalagay ko dito 12. If I put 12 here, ang kailangan daw is that 3 more than twice this magiging yung bigger number. So, ibig sabihin, itong number na to, kung ano man lalagay ko dito, lagagawin ko sa kanya is plus 3 at times 2. Now, dahil PEMDAS, ibig sabihin ng PEMDAS, mauuna muna ang multiplication bago ang addition. So, ibig sabihin, dun sa 3, sa plus 3 at times 2, ang unahin mo ay yung times 2. So, this will be, ita times 2 ko, and then I will plus 3, ang lalabas dapat would be this number right here. So, i-fill in ko lang siya dito, 12 times 2 is 24, plus 3, that would give you 27. So, 12 plus 27, hindi na siya equal sa 33. Kasi, again, kailangan, pag in ko naman silang dalawa, lalabas 33. So, ibig sabihin na, 12 is wrong. Kasi, sobra siya. Kasi, 39 yung lalabas. So, ma-eliminate ko na siya. At dahil mas malaki siya dun sa expected kong number, alam ko hindi ito ang sagot. Probably, hindi rin ito kasi malaki nga yung kinalabasan. Babagsak ngayon ako sa 10. Okay? And if I want to check, I will just put 10 here. So, 10 times 2 is 20, plus 3 is 23. And if you notice, 10 plus 23 is 33. So, tama tayo doon. Now, again, if you have the formula, let's try using the formula. Ang gagawin mo dito, you will combine yung mga x's sa isang side. So, 2x plus 3x, kasi, eh, plus, sorry, plus x lang pala, kasi sinolve ko na sa utak ko, ganoon ko na siyang 3x. No? Pero ito, nilipat ko lang siya doon. This will be 3x sa dulo kasi. Ganyan. Tapos yung 3, ililipat ko doon, magiging 33 minus 3. This will be 30. Didivide ko siya both sides sa 3. Cancel to. X is equal to 10. Now, if naguluhan kayo dito, don't complain na in the comments. Watch my video on equalities na lang. I'll link it up here dito sa taas. Kasi kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, hindi nyo ito magigets. Okay? So again, if you notice, 10 yung sagot dito, 10 din yung sagot na ginamit yung table technique. So, Kung saan kayo mas mabilis, doon mas maganda. Ako, personally, pagdating sa exam, tinatrial and error ko na lang kasi mas mabilis ako mag-analyze using yung table technique. I don't even draw this anymore. I have it in my head na lang. Tapos I try it and then I solve it that way. And the more you practice, the better you get. Okay? So, let's try another number and I'll give you, uh, I'll give you two minutes na lang since we're starting out with this lesson. Two minutes and then you can solve yung next na problem that I'm going to give you in the next screen. Now, um, in this video lesson, may paired din to na quick quiz video. So, if you uh, watch until the end of the video, you'll find yung thumbnail for you to watch the, watch the quick quiz video ng early. Just click that so you can try out your, your new technique. Okay? So, two minutes for this next question. I'll give you time. And uh, let's do this.
All right, so uh, let's see how you did. So, the sum of two numbers is 25. Twice the bigger number is three times the smaller number. What is the bigger number? So, we're looking for the bigger number here. Dalawa lang yung number, so the, the table would look like this. You have the smaller number and the bigger number. Now, sabi dito sa sentence, the sum of two numbers is 25. So, ibig sabihin, pag pinagsama ko sila, ang lalabas ay 25. And, twice the bigger number, so, ibig sabihin, yung bigger number, times 2 is, so, equal, equal siya sa 3 times the smaller number. So, in smaller number times 3. Na kung hindi nyo alam kung saan ko kinuha to, bakit naging ganyan yan, watch my video on equation construction. Uh, yun yung way for you to convert yung mga sentences into formulas or how to understand kung it times 3 ba yan, multiply ba siya, i-divide ba siya, i-add ba siya, or i-subtract ba siya. How do you know? Uh, watch my video na lang na yan kung maguguluhan pa kayo. Okay? So, it takes some practice and familiarity for you to be really fast sa, anal sa analysis niyan. Okay? So, ito na yung, yung table. Magsasubstitute na tayo. So, hinahanap is the bigger number. Ibig sabihin nito mo siya ilalagay. So, mamimili ka ngayon. So, sabi ko nga, if you want to start guessing as in out of thin air, you can pick any number, but I, I prefer that you pick someone in the middle, banda, just to minimize yung number of tries ninyo. So, kunyari, 14. If I choose 14, I put it here. 14 times 2 is going to give you 28. Now, kung ang 14 ang bigger number, ano ang kapartner niya smaller number? So, ano ang number na idadagdag ko sa 14 para maging 25 siya? That would be 11. Again, sa ko kinuha yung smaller number kasi sabi natin, ang sum nila is 25. So, in order for you to get ko ano kapares ng 14, all you have to do is 25 minus 14 para makamuha mo yung 11. Kasi yung 11 ang idadagdag ko sa 14 para maging 25. Okay? So, yung mga naguguluhan dyan, yun yung reason for that. So, next, gagawin ko kung 11 ang smaller number, times 3 is 33. And if you notice, hindi sila equal. So, kung hindi sila equal, ibig sabihin, hindi ito ang sagot, hindi 14 ang sagot. Okay? So, tanggal na yung 14. Which leaves me with a bigger number. Okay? Which is 15. Now, if I put 15 here, as the bigger number, 15 times 2 is going to give me 30. And yung kapartner naman ng 15 para maging 25 is 10. 10 times 3 is 30. So, if you notice, pareho na sila, equal na sila. Ibig sabihin, tama na yung sagot natin. So, ang bigger number is 15. That is the correct answer. Okay? So, again, yan yung benefit ng table technique. Now, there's another thing I want you to understand, which is this. If you're guessing, as in wala na talagang time, at ang hinahanap ay bigger number, okay, you can actually eliminate these two rin. Bakit? Kasi, ang kapartner ng 12 para maging 25 Kailangan mong idagdag is 13. And if you notice, 12 is actually the smaller number. Kasi 13 yung bigger number. So, hindi siya pwedeng maging bigger number. Ang 10 din lalo, kasi ang idadagdag mo sa kanya para maging 25 ay 15. So, ibig sabihin, hindi sila pwedeng magka... Hindi siya pwedeng maging, maging bigger number kasi this will always be the smaller number of the pair. So, hindi na rin siya pwedeng sagot. So, actually, just... You don't even need to try it. Um, sometimes, if you use your common sense, makaka-eliminate pa rin kayo sa sa mga options. Okay? So, again, there will be a link doon sa dulo ng video na to, to a quick quiz. There will be three questions increasing ng difficulty uh, for you to master this uh, type of technique. And if you watch until the end of the video, you'll find the thumbnail for that. So, I really hope that you will stay until the end. That way, uh, makapag-practice kayo. Kasi if hindi nyo ipapractice to, you may tend to forget it pagdating sa actual exam. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo na mag-exam din sila para so namin tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information sa upcoming live review events, online review program, and if you want to get one of the reviewers that I made. I made a bunch for civil service exam, which people use also for PhilSat and the LET. And, uh, and Matt then sometimes. You can uh, find out more information about that. And uh, I also made a uh, uh, college entrance test reviewer. So, pwede siya sa UPCAT, UPSET. That one I made with some of my friends. Si Dan Manzano, who is a professor sa UPLB. And uh, si Stan Libamala, who is a senior student ngayon sa UPD Laman. Uh, uh, ECE yung course niya. So, both of those people are very dear to me. Halos kapatid ko na rin sila. Hindi nga lang talaga biological. So, I, I deem them as experts in these fields. Si Diane yung gumawa sa English and then si Stanley yung gumawa sa science. And uh, if you want a copy of that, you can also reach out to me through 
the Facebook page. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, never stop learning. Adja-adja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.